Okay guys, uh, so um, I've tried the stick and flick. I'm not 100% sold on the stick and flick because I feel like they kind of come off. And maybe that's me, maybe that's user error, maybe I didn't clean my shoes enough, or maybe it's because of the, the little ridge up here that the stick and flick keeps coming off. I'm not quite sure, but I am instantly getting a hole in these. Yes, they're more canvas, they're not quite suede. So uh, I'm gonna try the shoe goo. If I find that that takes way too much uh, to deal with, I might do the shoe goo with the stick and flick and maybe see if that acts like, you know, like a glue. We'll see. So let's do the shoe goo. Um, a tip uh, apparently that um, Paul had told me, uh, uh, my good friend Paul, uh, who lives down in Maryland and one of my uh, subscribers and commenters said was to use the back of grip tape because it's got a little bit of a, um, a smooth film on it and that helps so you don't get it all over your fingers and you can kind of smooth it out. I've also heard from other people that to use a small amount. Um, yes, it means you got to reapply more often, but then it, you don't get this like big buildup on there. So this is my first time ever using shoe goo. This is my first time ever trying to put it on to uh, shoes. Uh, so let's see if I mess it up. Well, they say to use this stuff outside, and by inhaling some of these vapors, I can tell why. I'm going to be high as shit in three, two, one. All right. I probably just massacred that, but whatever. We'll find out. We're going to let it dry. Guys, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Um, I'm sure someone in the comments is going to leave something about how I messed this up or you know give me some tips it would be good all right go cool.